What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. As you can see, we're back here at the shop. Um, today I didn't really know what I was gonna do um, besides clean my car. Just saw uh, the exterior just because of the trip. Uh, made my car pretty dirty. But um, uh, another thing was uh, on the way up to Adam LZ's open house, um, when I would turn off my car, you know, just, you know, just going to get gas or something like that, then go to turn it back on, my temps, would, my temps were like almost like hot, hot. And I was just thinking to myself, like, what the hell is going on? Like the water pump going bad or something like that. But like every time I would go to take off, shoot right back down. So I don't know if like my thermostat is like starting to go bad or my uh, water pump starting to go bad, but it's just like, I don't know, it was, it was really strange. But um, just like a little bit ago, um, I opened up the bleeder valve right above the thermostat housing and uh, let it like drain a little bit for like five minutes. Maybe I had some, uh, an, air an air pocket right there or something like that, just because um, now I, I went to Costco, came right back, turned the car off. I just checked it again. I just checked it right there. And um, the temps are back down. So I don't know if I, I, I don't know, it's weird, but it's 240, so you never know. What I'm gonna do right now, just because I don't really have anything else planned besides cleaning my car, I was gonna, um, finally wet sand and buff my headlights. It's been, an, I've been procrastinating it for the longest time, just because like, you know, I always work on everyone else's car. But you know, today's finally day, I'm a, I'm a wet sand and buff my car. Uh, sorry for the fan noise. It's, uh, it got hot in here again uh, in Florida. Last week it was literally like almost Connecticut, like temp, like probably Connecticut fall weather and it was nice. But um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna buff, Santa buffed the headlights. So, see the to you guys that keep bugging me about it. Today's the day. You guys know the deal. First things first. I was looking for whatever you want to use the sand the headlights with. Using this, six hundred to start off. Just soaking water in the thing right now. See all the oxidation <laughs> and shit coming right off. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this. Like I said, I'm just procrastinating. I've been procrastinating like crazy. Just doing everyone else's car. You know, I'm trying to get the side money. Cause this I could do any time. That's why like I procrastinated it for the longest. Just because I could, like I said, I could do this anytime. Uh, so I wasn't really worried about getting these buffed out. And I don't like the American style where it's, it has all these lines in the headlights. I might get the clear lenses soon, or I might just get some black housing aftermarket one off eBay or something like that. Or just find uh, the ones that are already set up. This is a nice kit from AutoZone, you know, nice small area like this instead of keeping buying the bigger sheets. So it's a nice kit right here. Nice small sanding kit. Usually I would go from like six, eight thousand, fifteen to two thousand, but that's pretty fun. It's a lot. I need that much.
as you guys can see, nice and clear now instead of that. But obviously repeat on the other side and then I'll show you the front end. <laughs> All right, so to the other side, same deal, wet sanded them, 6,015. Buffed them with uh, McGuire's uh, heavy cut compound and then did the V38 from Chemical Guys. Looks amazing. Then I also did a quick ceramic coat uh, just, just to you know, keep them protected. Obviously, like I said, I want to get the clear lenses for these because they'll, they'll just look that much better for the front end. But here they are. Nice and clear. A lot of you guys might not notice a difference, but a lot of you U240 guys will notice a difference. Still, yellow, still a little yellow, but you know, from from OEM lights to you know the obviously eBay corner lights and all that stuff. I want, I also want to get the clear side markers right there. You know, definitely tie them together, but uh, way better. I don't know why it took so long to do this, but so much better now. Um, what I want to do next is clean the car, but we have this in the way. But uh, I also got these guys, so I might just wait a little bit to do it. So, I don't know, we're just chilling for now. I'll, I'll pick the camera back up when I'm doing something. All right, guys, so the clip you just watched was Tuesday, it's Sunday now. Um, didn't really have anything going on through it. Through, through, through didn't really have anything going on through the rest of the week, but uh, last night I was supposed to go and get some stuff with the 240. I'll tell you, um, I was supposed to get a J30 diff and some headers for my car and, and you know we were gonna you know pump them out to, uh, today but um roberto convinced me not to go and also money it wasn't the best money choice or like the uh, best situation with uh money just because like kind of tight bills just hit you know you know what i'm saying but roberto told me that uh the j30 isn't really a strong diff uh, for an LSD. So um, what he told me was that if you get a, it was that if you get a 300 ZX diff, take the pumpkin, take, you know, open it up um, and take the LSD out of uh, the 300 ZX, uh, you know, pumpkin, put it in my pumpkin and just put some shims in it. It'll be almost a welded, but obviously LSD type of situation. Um, he would, you know, the, the way he told me about it, you know, it's like, uh, I can't really explain like it myself, but like the way he explained it to me, you know, it just makes sense. And I could get a 300 ZX diff cheaper. So we're going to do that. So the diff, the still LSD is going to, you know, wait a little bit. Um, I don't want to weld it just because it's my daily driver. And I hate daily driving a welded diff. It's awful. I just, I meant like the chirping is cool and all, and like, you know, being able to just clutch kick it whenever and go sideways, you know, that's cool. But it's just like it, for me, going through tires, the chirping and all that stuff is just, you know, it's just not me. You know, uh, I do want to, you know, start drifting, but I just, you know, I'm not, you know, this is not going to be my full drift car. It's gonna be my daily driver, street car, drift car, you know, situation. You know, wanna have I wanna be able to have fun in my car, but also still be able to, you know, have a leisurely drive. <laughs> it is 240, so you know, it is what right it now, is. Now just gonna do a simple oil change on the 240, you know. You gotta take care of her. You take care of her, she kinda takes care of you back, in a sense. But um I might do some uh, brake pads on my car, just pad slap it, just because I do have things in the work for some bigger brakes. It's just, I need to set it all up. So uh, yeah, not, you know, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, you guys know what a standard oil change is and uh, I'll just set you guys up with it. Some of you might wonder, Alex, you're at the shop, why don't you use the lift? Well, because 
I don't need the lift. Just to do a simple oil change. All right, so catastrophic failure almost happened. Um, well, not really catastrophic failure, but the other oil, I, I literally had to run to AutoZone to get an oil filter again because the blue SDP, the regular one, fucking apparently stripped while trying to go on and then fucking oil went everywhere. Well, not really everywhere, just I caught it enough to where it went all into the catch, the black catch can right there. So that was crisis averted. Um, literally took Chris's bike, jetted to AutoZone just because I was pissed and got another one. This one, this one, it started off like weird, but I was able to shake it to where, um, I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, like not really shake it, but move it enough to where it actually you know, went back on you know, perfect. So this oil filter is on, it's good. No leaks, no nothing like that. Um, <laughs> but uh, always gotta be me, always gotta be me. Something, something always gotta happen, but. Probably go to the gas station, get something to drink, just cool off, because it is hot today. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna drive it over there, make sure no oil light comes on or anything like that. So, I'll see you when things start to pick up. So, all right, all right update. So right now, as you can see, I'm at HP. Um, pitch black out and stuff. Oh, focus. Focus, please, thank you. Yeah, it's pitch black out now. Um, I'm, what I'm doing here is that, um, Long story short, um, a customer for HP um, got sponsored by Brembo, or he got a Brembo uh, big brake kit. It's a big two-piece, uh, six pot up front, four, uh, four pot in the rear. And um, maybe obviously he wants HP to install them because they're doing a build for it. For his car, motor's right there, big single RB26. And um, obviously you need the you need the brakes to help stop you when you're going that fast so what his idea was he put these brakes on and he thought about you know he talked to roberto and selling him like hey if anyone wants these stock gtr brakes i don't need them anymore so give it to someone that deserves them you know that needs them or you know obviously deserves them and uh it's moral of the story now roberto thought of me for my S14 and you know, at first it was supposed to be a secret surprise type of thing, but Marcus told me, <laughs> so you know, the surprise was up. And then um, it's, we've, I've been waiting to, you know, get them, but obviously, you know, with the shop being busy and all that stuff, all the customers coming in and wanting certain things done to their cars and then them trying to get builds done as fast as they can, you know, the it was a wait. But today, um, me and Roberto were talking for the past couple of days about you know let's just you know come to the shop help me bust out this uh, brake job and then the stock g sharp brakes are yours so i already have the rears off um just trying to set up this big brake kit right now like you can see two-piece rotor right here so my hands are pretty big and uh yeah it's pretty big and uh this is the rears so show you the rear this is the rear four pot see you normally this would be on the front of a car but this is for the rear the fronts are over here and well bam look at that my hand's usually big and it's almost yeah, a double, double in my hands is a six pot. And like, I'm super, super thankful of this guy. I don't, I don't know his name. When Roberto comes back, um, I'll definitely put like his Instagram or something like that right here, right now. But uh, right now, just moving slowly, trying to get this uh, going. You know, at least we can get the rears done, you know, completed, closed off. Just because like the front, Obviously, the motor still has to go back in, so I got to drop the front subframe and all that stuff. So, you know, we could do that at a different time. But this is this is what I was talking about by, you know, 
something in the works, another thing in the works is we're going big breaks on the S14 just because why not? Put it down in the comments what you guys would rather have me do. Um, I could literally just uh, slap these in my car and all that stuff because uh, what I was gonna do before, uh, what Roberto said to do before I get the Z32 brake conversion lines, the steel brake lines, the kit, and then just it'll bolt right into my S14 knuckles and you know, big brake kits just like that. But um, Marcus is telling me that I should uh, get a rebuild kit for the brakes, um, unbolt them, send them off to get powder coated and all that stuff. So let me know if you think I should do that just because like I'm unsure I mean, sure, nice powder coated brakes would look amazing. I know that for a fact. I want to know what color they would be, but um, you know, it'd definitely be nice. One of the nicer things on my car, but it's just like uh, the the money used for powder coating could definitely go somewhere else in my car. I could put it towards uh, the turbo kit that I should be either saving up for or building up, just like how I built up the five speed swap. You know, I bought things that I needed here and there. And then when the automatic transmission went, that's when I just uh, bought everything else that I needed. So let me know what you guys think. Should I powder coat these brakes? I mean, they're not in terrible condition, definitely just pretty dirty, but you know, I would just clean them up and slap them in personally, being honest. And then just, uh, you know, run them, save the money put it somewhere else but definitely let me know in the comments below powder coat clean them up and just slap them in or just clean them up paint them like the like spray can just you know something quick just to make them look that much nicer i actually like the gray the gray on them look pretty nice and then i would sand down uh the nissan and then clear coat it and then look good to me um you know you guys know me i'm all about the budget and you know i'm trying to show you that it's not that hard to build your car on a budget and uh yeah so i don't know i'll pick it back up when roberto comes back and then i could uh set you guys up to show the process of putting this brake kit on all right guys so it is now the next day um i don't remember when it left off i think it was just showing you guys um or just doing oh i sh i left off on uh you know, just starting on the big Brembo brake kit on the R32. And I was gonna record more, but then I just got too into it because I just wanted it done, just because like it's a customer's car and I don't wanna fuck anything up. But we got that done, I'll show you, I'll put in a picture right here. It looks dope, doesn't it? But uh, next day, um, they only did the rears. Got to do the front maybe tomorrow or whenever Roberto is down to do the fronts so I could get the other things. But, um, yeah. Uh, you know, not much went on today. I just worked. Just got to the shop because Chris is having problems uploading. So, you know, obviously I'm here to help. Um, but on the bright side, my friend, uh, I'm going to, obviously you guys know I'm going to, uh, a car group called Street Juke, and we have a chat together, you know, that we, you know, talk shit with each other, blah, blah, blah. And usually I, I have the chat on mute just because sometimes we're just talking nonsense and, and my phone just blows up. So I just have it on mute so it doesn't blow up. But the one time I get tagged, I'm like, oh, it's nothing, blah, blah, blah. And then I get tagged again. I, okay, I'm like, okay, this time it's probably something serious. So I look in the chat and my friend who has a bagged purple E36, um, his neighbor is a scrapper and I guess he went to a Porsche performance shop and they were throwing away seats. So um, he grabbed them and then I guess he didn't need them or something like that. So he was gonna throw them away. And my friend picked them up, put it in the chat and said, hey, does anyone want one? Uh, my other friend, Kevin, that you guys saw in the last video of us going to Orlando, the baby blue BRZ, um, there was a Corbo and a Sparco, and he took the Corbo, so obviously, you know, I had to take the Sparco. And for me, I'm all about the deals. And Tommy just literally wanted to just, uh, you know, obviously he just gave him away just because he got him free. You know, he's not trying to make money on any of us and all that stuff, so it's just like, yeah. But I told him, like, I'll give him money or whatever just because, like, you know, he, he, he hooked it up. So I literally got a Sparco Evo one seat 
for two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. <laughs> Our equivalent is like $10. But, um, uh, you know, you don't really hear about those deals. Um, the seat is not in the, you know, 100% perfect condition. You know, it's obviously used. It came from a Porsche performance shop. So you already know though, that Porsche that it came out of definitely, you know, was racing and all that stuff. And I'll show you right here. You know, the pad, the bottom pad's in the car. Um, I just wanted to bring it out so I could show you guys. You know, obviously you see the top bolsters ripped a little bit down there from coming in and out. Obviously that side, because this was probably a driver's seat. But now this is going to be my passenger seat. So now I have two Sparkos in my car. The Evo 2, you know, that's my driver's seat. Um, this, this Evo 1 came with a spare pad. And right now with the sliders in, if I had the, the stock Evo 2 pad in, my head hits the ceiling or the roof. So, but now it came with a super like worn pad, but still comfy. Now it's perfect, perfect. I could sit in there with the pad, perfect. My head doesn't touch the uh, roof, good. Now I, I just need to get uh, sli sliders for this seat for the passenger side. So now I have matching Sparkos. I'm hyped and um, you know, it's good to know people. Uh, it's definitely good to know people. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video just because like it was all over the place. And you know, like you guys said, you guys just wanna see uploads from me. So, you know, hopefully I have enough content in here to so you guys can enjoy. And, uh, and I hope you guys are stoked about this uh, Sparkle deal just because, you know, who, who, like, who runs into deals like that? Uh, Sparkle won. You know, it used to be FIA approved, but it looks like it expired like an 08 or something like that. So it's, you know, it's an old seat, but it will do the job as a passenger seat to hold the person in. Because eventually I'm going to get a harness bar, get harnesses and all that stuff. Just because like if I do want to go to a track and drift, you know, I could do that eventually. But uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, put it down in the comments what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys are stoked for me with everything that's just slowly coming together. And um, yeah, please subscribe, share my videos, share my channel. You know, it helps me immensely. It gives me more, still motivation to keep putting up videos up for you guys. And just, you know, just to, just, I don't know, just keep you motivated. But definitely, definitely, definitely give me the support and I will show you the love back. So I'll see you guys in the next one.